Hallie Laura, you for watching Meghan Markle, is this picture proof Prince Harry's outspoken girlfriend is anti-Brexit? Meghan Markle, girlfriend of Prince Harry, is not afraid to share her political opinions. And it appears she has spoken out against Brexit. Meghan has over 1.6 million followers on Instagram and regularly shares snippets of her life with her fans, from the wine she drinks to bunches of flowers she likes. The 35-year-old us-born actress doesn't stop there, though. The Hollywood star isn't shy about sharing political opinions on the social networking site and an image posted in June 2016 to her Meghan Markle page appears to reveal her true thoughts on Britain leaving the EU. Posted 42 weeks ago, the week of the referendum, the image shows a crowd holding up pro-EU placards. The photo focuses on one in particular which reads, if EU leave me now you take away the biggest part of me. Meghan captioned the post, if EU leave me now, number Brexit number Parliament number referendum number London. The now girlfriend of Prince Harry was on a trip to London that week, before her relationship with the Prince, and posted several photos of her holiday to Instagram. Her followers were quick to comment on the post, and one wrote, go do something useful for your community instead of this useless protest. Another said, leave the British alone. Let them work out their issues. One wrote, it's called democracy. We voted, remain lost. Move on. Please. Meghan's sharing of her views on British politics could cause friction with the royal family as, usually, they remain neutral on political matters and certainly do not share any personal views in a public forum. It is not just Brexit Ms. Markle has commented on, she has also been a strong critic of Donald Trump. Appearing on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore on May 4, 2016, the Suits actress said she would move to Canada if Trump, who was then campaigning for the presidency, got into the White House. She said, it's really the moment I go, we film Suits in Toronto and I might just stay in Canada. If that is really the reality we are talking about then that is a game changer in terms of how we move in the world here. She went on to say it was crazy Trump's offensive comments did not have an effect on his supporters. She added, yes of course Trump is divisive, think about female voters alone, right? I think it was in 2012 the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points, that is a huge number and with as misogynistic as Trump is, and so vocal about it, that is a huge chunk of it. Thank you for watching. Please share video and subscribe my channel for more video.